Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your March love reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at what's going on for you at this time in love. Um, this is sort of like a love connection reading that I do. So you have to have an actual connection of some kind you believe you have with somebody. So you definitely have to know each other. So we'll see what's going on with whoever you have in mind at this time. You don't necessarily have to be together. Um, could just be some sort of mutual connection that you believe you have. So this is for sun, moon, rising, and Venus, uh, male, female, doesn't matter. Only take what resonates, throw away the rest. Don't try to make it fit. If you feel like it's not your reading, then, um, then it's probably not. So please keep that in mind. And I can also pick up on past, present, or future energies. So keep that in mind also. And I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links below in the description box for your love and general readings, along with the decks I'm using, <clears throat> social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to, uh, to tip, donate, or send a gift, all that information is below also. So Sagittarius, let's see what's going on with you in love at this time and my candle just went out so I just want to put a new one. I thought it would last just a little bit but I'm sorry about that. So let's see what's going on between you and the person that you have in mind at this time. Now I have a zodiac oracle here so we could pick up um, a planet, sign, or an element and if you're not dealing with whatever comes out here, totally fine. It's sort of like a little extra bonus. So let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. Who could they possibly be dealing with at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you. Oh, okay. Lying on the floor. So we have Mars energy, which is the energy of Aries. So you could be dealing with an Aries, if not, or maybe they have it in their chart. If not, Aries is the energy of um, Mars, rather, is the energy of competitiveness, assertion, aggression, courage, and confidence, passion, and strength. So it's all that, like, force, not forceful, but like that um, passionate determination, determined energy. So you could be feeling very passionate and determined about somebody, and also... Aries represents the emperor <clears throat> and also, to, for me, the tower in the tarot. So you could possibly, you know, the emperor takes the control, takes the charge of a situation. So you'd be may, you may, may be wanting to taking the lead or take control of a love situation here of some kind. So let's see. Let's see what's going on, Sagittarius. So I'd just like to say a quick shout out to all my new subscribers, those who have tipped, donated, sent a gift, reached out for personal reading. All your support really, really does mean a lot to me. So thank you, thank you. And also we have reached 10,000 subscribers. So in honor of that, I am doing a free deck and reading giveaway. So I made a post in the comment section, the community section of my channel, which I'll put a link below to that post. If you want to enter to win the deck, in a free reading, follow the link to that post in the community section and you will see all the details on how to enter the contest. And it will be open till the end of March. So I'll be picking the winner sometime in April. So you'll win a free deck that has, has been used by me and I have signed it and I wrote a message inside and a 20 minute reading of your choice. So the info on how to enter it will be down below. I'll probably either put it in the comment section or pin it to the top comment info, or I'll do both. So watch for that. All right, so Sagittarius, let's get an opening love message for you and whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading. The Sagittarius, please, I'm feeling that one. So we have healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So um, it could be something stemming back to your own parents, your childhood, maybe some you know issues or childhood trauma or things you went through in the past. Healing those issues uh, could be still affecting you till today. So healing those issues will help you 
move forward in whatever love situation uh, we have going on here. Or you could be healing something with a significant person right now that you have a family with, however that resonates for you. So what I want to do here, Sagittarius, is I'm going to pull a card for you, a card for your person. So I'm going to put you, Sagittarius, here and your person. Well, get one card for your person here. So you're, this is how you're feeling about each other and the connection. But if any time you feel like roles need to be reversed or anything, please you know switch and flip the energies anytime. Like and like I said, only take what resonates. So this is how you're feeling about your person, whoever you have in mind. For yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. So you may be wanting to free yourself from a love connection here. And your person here has deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Hmm. So <laughs> this is not really a good energy, but I see that things are trying to heal. So I feel like you're wanting to free yourself from a connection and your person feels like deceived in some way or feels like it's not a good energy between the two of you. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Wow, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So, whoa, Sag, what's going on here? So <laughs> someone could have addictions here or, or it's just a very codependent energy. Maybe this person is very codependent on you and now you're feeling like you need to free yourself from this situation um, kind of energy. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Let's clarify all this for you, Sagittarius. What's going on, Sagittarius? I think your past love readings um, were, have been very good. It's about um, your past love readings have been about a uh, connection with a possible soulmate to inflame. But now we have this energy. So this may be a new uh, set of Sagittarians I'm reading for. Or this could be you. Maybe you're trying to free yourself from one situation so you can go towards your true uh, soulmate. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going on here for you, Sagittarius. What is going on? Why does Sagittarius have free yourself? Spirit, please. Five of Swords. Yikes. I'll go over the signs at the end of the reading in the Hermit. Yeah, so the Five of Swords is an energy. Do I just give up or do I still try to fight on? Five of Swords can also be very egocentric kind of energy, like getting ahead at all costs, don't really care how you do it, just, you know, getting ahead at anything or anybody's cost. But then you have the Hermit energy, which is about <clears throat> going in and doing that inner journey, soul work, soul searching work, finding your path, your way, your light, healing kind of energy. So I feel like here, yeah... Uh, Whatever this Five of Swords is, like very like nitpicking energy, like backstabbing one another, you know, one upping one another, you know, just like jabbing back and forth kind of energy. I feel like now this has caused you to go into retreat mode and figure out, okay, what do I need to do in this situation? Feeling like you need to free yourself. So what does your person have here? The Six of Swords. So they want to go into a better place, the Six of Swords energy. It's either with you or without you. I don't know. Let's see. Let's get another one for your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time. Ace of Pentacles. So they have a new beginning here, a more stable, secure beginning, growth, abundance for the long term. I feel like they're kind of chasing you, like begging, can we work this out? Can we work this out? And you have like your back turn, both energies, you have like your back turn. Like, nah, I don't know. I don't know. Looking back, like, yeah, I just don't know what I want. I feel like I want out. And your person, I feel like, is kind of, like, begging, like, chasing you and begging. Can we work this out? Can we take it to a better place? Can we find, you know, healing, balancing energy? Wanting, like, a new beginning, a new stable beginning here for the long term? Wow. <laughs> so you're, but be careful. This person is just not all talk. And they don't really mean what they say. They may be promising, oh, things will get better. We'll go in a better place. It'll be more stable and grounded for the future. But they may just be saying that to get you back. And I feel like you're kind of seeing that in a way because you're like turning your back. All this energy is like turning away from this energy. All right, so Sagittarius, let's see 
what the actual situation is here for you. Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is too burdensome for you. That's your energy, Leo Sag Aries. Just feeling overburdened by, weighed down by all this. It's like you kind of had enough. And this could involve a marriage or a long-term commitment here with the Ten of Pentacles is usually the marriage card. So we have two, two tens here. Tens are usually about completions, endings of a cycle of some kind. So the Ten of Pentacles is usually that ending of a cycle of finally coming together, getting married, and having that long-term commitment. Once, you know, two people finally come together and completing that through marriage and long-term commitment. But the Ten of Wands is laying down heavy burdens and ending that cycle of uh, being burdened. So <clears throat> I feel like you could be in a long-term commitment or marriage that you're finding very, very burdensome and wanting to free yourself from that energy. Eight of Pentacles. So this is, you know, between the two of you. So that is uh, an energy of hard work and putting in the dedicated effort. You could be just putting in hard work on yourself at this time and just working, you know, working on yourself. Two of Swords. So indecisive energy here. Needing to make a decision but not really wanting to. So I feel like your person needs to make a decision about this and they don't want to. They just want to try to work it out again. But they may be just saying that because they don't want to lose you, but they may not change because they're wearing a false mask. So be careful of that. They may have false promises. So you see the sword behind uh, her back like she's hiding something behind her back. So just be careful. Queen of Wands. So very fiery, passionate energy here. You know, maybe just about the passion also. Uh, I feel like just they're just going after you with a lot of fire, passion, desire. Um, like they're not going to stop <laughs> kind of energy. But I feel like they're hiding something or, you know, they have a secret agenda or something like that. They're not really, they may not really follow through on what they're saying because they're wearing that mask. But the energy between the two of you is either trying to work it out or putting in the dedicated effort to try to work it out or just concentrating on yourself and working on yourself. So, so I know you could be trying to work this out, but just be careful that um, this person just, they may just fall back into their old ways again of being codependent. And, you know, we do have the he healing family issues, so... You know, it could be that you're putting in the dedicated effort and work to try to just heal the situation. So let's see what the advice is for this connection for you, Sagittarius. The Knight of Wands. Let's get a few more here. The Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> now we have the Four of Pentacles. Let's get one more in the page of wands. So a lot of communication here. So, I mean, the advice is here, it's definitely heavy on communication, on stability. You know, how can we make this stable if we can work this out? You know, bringing in good news or just fiery, passionate communication. The Knight of Wands also takes action. So, but the Four of Pentacles is an energy of holding back kind of holding on maybe and also not wanting to let go but also an energy of holding back so i guess the advice is here if you want to hold on to this connection if you feel like it can be worked out there needs to be very stable honest communication um very this is fiery passionate communication so like being determined and standing up for yourself and uh defending yourself if you want this to move forward. A lot of passion here though. So if that's just what you want, then uh, need to really communicate that clearly. But we do have stability and passion. Maybe not wanting to let go either with the Four of Pentacles and moving forward with a lot of drive, ambition, and passion. So if you still want this to move forward, there needs to be stability, fiery communication, standing up you know, for what you believe in kind of energy if you don't want to let this go. 
All right, so let's see the possible outcome here. So we got the Three of Swords in reverse. So there's the pain and heartbreak energy. But we do have the Ace of Cups here. And then we do have death. So, <clears throat> so a possible outcome is you could try to have like a brand new beginning in love with this person. But I feel like with death here and the Three of Swords, you know, the Three of Swords is very painful, hurtful energy. Being like stabbed in the back, stabbed in the heart. Death is like the ending of something. So, I mean, you could try to transform this and end it, end the old ways and transform this into something new, like new love. But you still have pain here. So maybe you can get over this pain if you can tr transform it and have like new love, the feeling of new love between the two of you. For some of you, but for some of you, I feel that you're going to try to give this another chance, but yet there's still going to be a lot of pain and heartbreak and things may just finally, finally come to an end here. But then there's always new beginnings, so you may find love elsewhere with the Ace of Cups. is usually new love, so you could find love elsewhere eventually. So for some of you, you may try to work this out, and it may work out. For some of you, you may try to work it out, but I think it's just going to fall back into its old ways and, and probably end up just getting hurt again and finally just putting an end to it finally with the Death card saying, you know, that's it. It's the last time. And just healing from the situation, healing the whole situation. Because the Ace of Cups could be just be peace and harmony in the situation as it's ending over the heart, heartache and pain. Just having like a peaceful resolution kind of energy. So however that resonates for you. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we do have your energy at the bottom here. So things are getting better here. Fate, destiny, divine timing. Things going in a better direction. Knight of Pentacles. So moving forward with stability. Um... Usually, you know, this is could be just taking a very slow, practical effort forward. Here is communication, travel, and action, or Cupid's arrows, as they call it. But here's the Four of Swords energy, again, with that healing energy, spending time alone, thinking, contemplating over this uh, love situation with the Two of Cups. Definitely is a soulmate, but I feel like it's been on pause and a break with the hangman kind of energy because of toxic energy between the two of you with the devil energy. And we do have the high priestess. So following your gut and your intuition, <coughs> sorry, doing what's best for you by not really telling anyone. So yeah, then we have truthful communication here again with the page of swords. And some of you will end this here. Uh, you will end this with the Ten of Swords as a painful, hurtful ending. So some of you will take the sword and end this situation knowing it's the right thing to do because of toxic energy. Things have just been kind of stagnant and still between two people that probably were soulmates at one time. So healing from that energy, you know, maybe traveling, um, taking action on this kind of energy, moving forward very slowly, smart, practical energy. And things will just get better for you as you do what's right for you moving forward. So for some of you, if you think you can work this out, there's a chance that it can. For some of you, you may try again, but I think ultimately it's just going to get back into the same energy and then things are just going to end anyway. So some of you will free yourself and some of you may try to work it out again. So however this resonates for you, if you feel like you can try to work it out again, that it may work this time, then it may. But for some of you, you may try and it's just going to fall back into the same pattern as before. And then ultimately, I do see for some of you, unfortunately, it may just come to an end here. But someone definitely needs to take control of the situation. So for the signs I see here, I do see, uh, let's see, Leo Sagittarius, which is your energy. Uh, Leo Sag Aries again. Leo Sag Aries. Um, Scorpio. Your energy here with Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, Pisces, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So those are the main signs I see in Aries over here with Mars. 
So let's get some closing energy here for you, Sagittarius. I do ask Sagittarius, if you're new and you like my style and how I read, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you, thank you. All right, so Sagittarius. Let's get some closing messages on this situation for you. Sagittarius. Some closing messages. What? Okay. So we have here soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So I do believe, you know, this was a soulmate at one time. Or you could have an energy of a new soulmate coming in. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. And we have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. And we have healing here. So, you know, maybe if you are ending a situation but healing it on a peaceful note, Again, you know, lighthearted energy can help the situation. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. And we have the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So I feel like some of you will be following a new path, leaving this situation behind, but healing it and having peace in the situation. And you may have the opportunity here to uh, connect with a new soulmate on a new path however it resonates for you. So Sagittarius, again, uh, different messages here. So take whatever message uh, resonates for you. And best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.